Hey ladies, so in this video I'm going to show you how I made these organizer drawers using items from the Dollar Tree. So first you're going to need a glue gun, which you can get at the Dollar Tree. One of my favorite glues, which is the E6000. A strip of glitter gems if you prefer. Some gems if you prefer. A tweezer. And of course some glue sticks, okay? And you will also need these containers, which are from the Dollar Tree. So I purchased these a couple of weeks ago, and these are like faux acrylic containers. Really great. Normally these up run you probably like five, six bucks a piece. And they're cute because you can store all kind of little nifty items in them. So I did spend probably like about a good $18. As well as these here were also at the Dollar Tree. These are for your lipsticks. And the other one was mainly for, the first one I showed was mainly for like your brushes and other little knickknacks. So the first one that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to glue them together just using glue sticks. So I'm going to perch, I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to purchase, I'm going to do six at a time. I'm going to make a tier of six. So as you can see, the bottom pieces, they have like these grooves in them, as you see right there. So they actually fit into the top of the container. And it fits very nicely in the groove of the container. So the first thing I'm going to use is I'm going to go ahead and put this one together with some glue sticks. Glue sticks are great, you know what I'm saying? They work, but you got to keep in mind that glue sticks only will seal and hold on the product that you use it on. So, more or less, I think glue sticks really hold better on fabric opposed to like some plastic. And I did notice that in this tutorial as I was creating this product, the first thing I used was my glue sticks. It held together really well, but for you to use the glue sticks, you want to keep in mind that you need to have a light hand. So I think that glue sticks work well depending on what type of project you're using and depending on the hand of the person and the strength. But I really feel like the E6000 glue works amazing. Like it works a lot better than these actual glue sticks. So for this portion right here, I will be showing you how I put this together with the glue sticks. And in the next portion of this video, of course, I will be using the E6000 video. I mean, 6,000 glue. And that, unfortunately, is not at the craft store, but I'm pretty sure you can find some pretty glue that's close to it at the craft store, um, or at the Dollar Tree, rather. The craft store, yes, you can get the E6,000, but at the Dollar Tree, you're not going to find the E6,000, but I'm pretty sure they have an adhesive glue that's very similar. So as you can see, I have four going right now, and now it's up to five. It's really simple. I'm just going to go ahead and you want to make sure that you're doing it pretty quick because the glue will dry pretty fast. Now for this one right here, I'm going to take this nifty little tray, which I also did get from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to place that on the top. Now keep in mind, you want to make sure that these are set perfectly and also that you do have like a nice steady hand and apply a little pressure to it just so that way the glue can cure. And this is like a great item. If you were to see this on eBay, they do come in six in a tier or two or three in a tier. And it'll cost you like a good 20, 30 bucks. And I'm sorry, but if I can find these for a dollar, I'm about to use them to my advantage and to store all kind of little things in it. These are great for storing little crafts, little hair items, makeup. It all depends on what you want to use it for, but I think these are really great from the Dollar Tree, especially for the price. So this one right here, as you can see, is all done. And these little slots in the front are kind of small, so you're not going to be able to put lipsticks in those. But you can put other things in them as well, such as brushes. And the drawers are really great for lip glosses. And all kind of little eyeshadows and things like that. And of course, one did fit there. So now, I want to inform you guys, make sure that you have at least some type of placemat or newspaper down on any countertop. So that way the glue does not get stuck to your countertops because I do not want y'all blaming me. So I did have some Q-tips on hand just in case any of the glue seeped over. And with this one, I'm just going to be using these gems that I've had for a few years. These I did get from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale for seven bucks normally I think they range for fifteen dollars but um the whole thing was full and I love them because I have done so many things with these um gems I've actually made a mirror with one um a, a whole pack 
they are really coming handy so this is just another alternative and I'm just showing you different ways that you can use um, these drawers and just jazz it up if you don't like them plain me personally I prefer them without any gems because I just I'm really not into all the gems and the bling out stuff but yes and now you see what I use the q-tip or the tweezers for so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, use also for this project I'm going to use some glue and I'm going to use some glue sticks so here this one goes this is the second tier which is a finished product now for the third one I came across these at the Dollar Tree which is the sticker of gems and this is a lot easier to adhere so you can find these at the Dollar Tree they come in an array of colors you can split them in half and just put them as so you don't have to take them off one gem at a time they're more or less on a strip and you can break them apart as you see me placing them on to the sides right here um, like I said they do come in a bunch of colors and I only used a few and it's a really neat idea especially if you want to jazz up so like I said I'm going to be using the E6000 glue now keep in mind that this does dry quick as well but you don't need a lot because it will cure and it does kind of like spread out but the E6000 glue is a lot more durable than the actual glue stick and this is how they came out so you do see the cotton balls right here I do have something sitting on top of it a vase just for a little pressure to make sure that it stays in place and dries and cures so yes yeah, a really great option for those of you guys who love anything in the Dollar Tree or love organization this is one kind of DIY project that you can do. So stay tuned for more DIY projects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always make sure you rate, comment, subscribe and I love you guys.